It's a critical development for the 28 million 5 to 11 year olds potentially eligible for a COVID vaccine. Pfizer today said its vaccine is nearly 91% effective in preventing symptomatic COVID for that age group. Now the FDA will meet next week to consider giving its approval. Plenty of children get seriously ill if you go to pediatric hospitals throughout the country. So although the incidence of severe disease is less, we still want to protect the children. Meanwhile, the CDC has now officially cleared all vaccine booster shots. Here's what you need to know. If you received your second Moderna or Pfizer vaccine more than six months ago, you're eligible for a booster if you're at least 65 years old or you live in a long-term care facility or you have underlying medical conditions or you live or work in a high-risk location. Pregnant women are also encouraged to get a booster. If you're among the 15 million Americans who received the one-shot Johnson & Johnson vaccine, and it's been at least two months, you can get a booster right now regardless of your age. And anyone can get a different booster than their original vaccine dose. There may be some people who um, might prefer another vaccine over the one that they received, and the, the current CDC recommendations now make that possible. In Chicago, 28-year-old Sean Paul originally got the J&J &J vaccine. He's now hoping for even more protection. I am interested in getting one of the other shots if possible, and if that's what the CDC recommends as well, then I'll definitely do that. In D.C., 76-year-old Roger Griggs works in a community clinic, putting him at increased risk for breakthrough COVID. He wants another Moderna dose. I want to try to help protect my family and my grandkids and my co-workers and myself from, from this deadly virus. As this vaccine starts to wane, we want to make sure that uh, there's not another spike of COVID um, in our communities. Boosting immunity as the country enters its third COVID winter. For those who've had the J&J &J vaccine, experts believe a Moderna or Pfizer booster shot would offer a more robust antibody protection. But a second J&J &J vaccine would also provide about 94% protection. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.